So I decided to build a uh, shed myself uh, from Lowe's. This is the Belmont uh, 8x10. Um, that's what it is hopefully going to look like after it's all said and done. Um, I had to special order it. This uh, shed normally comes in 8x8 that was in stock. 8x10 was out of stock probably because for a couple more hundred bucks you can get two feet more of shed. The 8x8 is actually pretty little whenever you are looking at it in person. Um, the shed is advertised to not come with paint obviously. Shingles or a floor. So I have the base set up over here. Um, this is just a, it rained last night, so I had a tarp over top of the shed, so I just, or over top of the base. So I have everything uh, set up here. This is just a regular floor. Um, this is a two by six, 16 on center, floor joist style of foundation. Um, got it all squared up, and evened up and everything like that. So it should be an exact um, 10, uh, by eight. Um, that's just what I went off on the measurements. We'll see how close uh, close we are once we start digging into everything and start unboxing. And uh, and then we'll go from there. So go ahead and we'll, we'll get started. This is, this is the last piece of the roof, I guess. Yeah, it's yeah. Okay, cool. So I guess those are... Well, we don't want to hide those. Kind of everything all blown out. Let's see if these are the same length as this. Hey, I set some of those uh, over behind the swing over there. Okay, I'm just... Some of them are different lengths. Like roof pieces, wall pieces. There's a lot of freaking stuff. And, uh... <clears throat> and like, put a bunch of nails, latches, stuff like that in there. So that's cool. All right. <clears throat> First wall is laid out. Uh, we found out a little while after we started marking them with the marker, the actual piece of wood is marked on the end because that corresponds to the part number in the instruction list so hopefully that will help out Would put on the wall here and then move on to the next. All right, so we just propped up the first wall. That's all done. Uh, and now we're gonna start the other wall. Visitor. Hey, buddy. Inspecting the work. All together on this side. I don't know if the camera will pick it up. This top piece, the wood was really, really crooked. So what we had to do is we put a couple of screws in here as well. We had left over from whenever we built the floor. This was really bad over here. I mean, it was off. How bad? How bad would you say it was off? It was twisted bad. They should have never put that piece of wood in there. Yeah, it was pretty twisted up, but I think we got pretty much 
think it'll be fine because we we're gonna make this the top piece and then uh and that will be the bottom part over here of this this wall this is straight this looks pretty damn good yeah, we're actually gonna use that one over there for the bottom i just want to see it's a little, a little wobbly but we haven't had to put the wood on yet you know what this is the better side of it right here anyway okay so we're gonna do that. got it cool well, look out i mean for perspective i mean look how twisted it was we're trying to use the screws to pull it back but it's it's off pretty bad but it'll be all right it'll work out pretty much all done um, our problem is is our floor over here is uh, a little bit too long in a way that this sits this kind of overhangs on the floor a little bit so we may have to trim this a little bit that was just our fault because we made this floor part just a little bit too big but we're just gonna trim it I really, really wish we had the instructions first but it is what it is no problem It's all set. So we have three inch nails through here. I don't understand how we we didn't ruin that many nails when we were. No, they didn't, I don't think they gave enough. I don't think we got enough nails. three inch nails. Well, they wanted two in every stud as you put them in, and we did exactly that. And it wasn't enough. We just had some extra three inch screws we just put in, and then the two inch screws just went along the side on the bottom there. And now we're going to put up the other side. Product of having twisted wood, how it kind of sets all weird up there and everything. We're gonna try to tap it in. Go ahead. Yeah, it's 
not budging. Yeah. That's all right. I think we'll the trim, trim, will, the trim will be able to hide it. Got the three inch screws at the bottom, of each side. Three inch screws at the top as well. And uh, it's coming together. Actually, it looks really good. And I don't think, even with the, the weird, this, this wall over here was pretty bad with, with all the crappy wood, but have a little hump in the middle. And I tried to use some screws to hold it down, but uh, it didn't really hurt anything, I guess. It'll be all right. Cool. We're gonna go ahead and get the roof truss set up. Sun's coming down on us a little bit, but at least we got a lot of shade still, which is good, because it is hot. Hot, hot, hot. All right, so you want to put these together? Yeah, let's figure out how the hell you do these now. Okay, it looks like you lay a W and a W. If you can lever to the corner, use that as the support. Well, that gives you the angle. Yeah. Okay, you should have a triangle. So this is an square. end. Square. This is an end. So end over here. That'll flip it. That'll, yeah. Oh, like that? Okay. And then this thing will have to go here. Just make sure that you have the angle right. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay. You have this thing right. Because it has to set flat on that. Here, let me scoot this back here for a little bit. Then that way you get your pitch right. Well, get this, let me get this. No, that's good, actually. go perfect so do they go in two inch screws this way through here or hey, you just use the gusset? there's a gusset that goes in okay contact points and the only there's these don't touch each other they just go on with these gussets okay I don't want to have that I'll put that fancy shit in the other side these will go on like that they can't go higher than the roof Okay. Because you have to, your plywood won't set flat. You know what I mean? Right, right, right. You can even make them a little bit recessed. Those are probably the two inch screws, yeah? Two inch, let's see what they are. Screws, in, they're nails only. Um, okay, all right, I'll get the nails then. Okay, so screws. you're going to put, how many? Oh, they want to glue, you have to glue these too. Yeah. Do you have glue? I'm back to my work car, I think. Put that or we'll just run over and get a thing of glue. Get all the roof trusts built. And now I guess we're just gonna put them up. Is that what the next step is? Yes, sir. All right, let's do it. is up and everything and that's about it boy it is hot out I'll be happy when this is over with <laughs> it's coming along though so I don't know I would say this front trim piece is probably the hardest thing of the whole yeah. the whole thing so the trim piece is coming up over there. You gotta get it just absolutely perfect. Uh, whenever you look on the inside of this window, it's like right even with the window itself and then down here, that'd be kind of like your gauge. And don't worry on the ends, we have it uh, up a little bit so everything will be able to set just flat on there. And then go around the back side here. Same thing, the trim uh, on those edges as well. And uh, looks pretty good, not too bad. So it's coming, coming along. But uh, yeah, we're making it happen. Let's see, we started, so far we started at, what time did we start, Dad? Like eight? 
We started at 8. We really didn't get started until like 8.30, like pulling shit out and stuff. And uh, right now it's like 10 till 5. And we did go to Lowe's because we had to get shingles and just random other stuff. But uh, next up, we are going to go ahead and put the roof on. up we did have to trim a piece over there real quick because it was just a little bit crooked gotta see everything over there everything up over there it's coming together underneath done for the day got the tar paper on got to trim it tomorrow and everything but that's it for today I'm whooped. <laughs> I'm whooped. I know you're tired too. Hey, Lord. Hey, buddy. Yeah. Alright, so what are we doing? We're trimming. So, this no cut shed. Uh, <laughs> has trimming on the wood. Has a little bit of trimming around the the, the wood and stuff. Just to get it snugged up and fit a little bit better. So uh, those are gonna go on the sides over here on the header and on the back sides as well. And then uh, and then that should be it. Again, we just have to trim them just a little bit just so they fit nice and snug up in here um, on the bottom working on the back side right now I'm not really gonna film that it's the same thing as on the front there we go All right. we're just laying out the front door to be put on um, with the spacers the other spacer there um, come on focus there it goes and uh, three inch screws to hold this on there and we'll pop this thing. in um it called for three inch screws the whole way down the side we ended up this is just going from here through plywood three inch screws are like stuck out that the much three inch work on the uh, top but the ball. three inch you go into the studs so we got three inches there and there on both sides <clears throat> um and now we're putting the header piece on you can kind of see oops you gotta go at the same time here So the header piece is going to go on the tip top there. There it is. Uh, the door here. Uh, put, they call for 52 of these little three quarter inch screws to just hold the trim piece on here. Cause it looks like it's just uh, stapled uh, on here. So get the whole thing on the side over here and the whole thing on the side over here. And then hopefully we'll strengthen it up a little bit. We had an extra piece of OSB 
for the floor. And what we did, we put it in the middle here because the gap of our door, maybe we did it wrong, was pretty big. But with that piece on the inside there, I don't know if I'll be able to shut this with my stuff in here. But basically it cleans it up so that you can't see any daylight coming through here. Once it's shut, it's tight as can be, which is good. But, uh, but yeah. So that's just a little added thing just to, okay, there we go, perfect. So now you can see, it's nice and tight. A little bit of daylight at the bottom. So went ahead and put the hardware here on the door. All lined up, good to go. Also, we installed the little stopper here to hold the door from pushing forward. Just had to screw a little hole up in there. And uh, I guess, what's the next step, the roof? Hmm? What's the next step, roof? Trim and the wood. No, we already did the trim. No, the uh, oh, the drip edge. Drip yeah, edge. sorry. Installed. Cool. That's just tucked underneath of the tar paper there. And we're gonna work our way on the other side now and uh, get all that tapped in over there. And we should be all right. Edge on the end. So this drip edge was 120 inches long. So we did just one snip in the middle at 60. Um, and we left the top the way that it is, just like that. And then we're just gonna clean it up by cutting that straight right there. And then uh, we should even it up. We did the back first Hold on. because uh, we don't wanna mess it up. <laughs> you won't be able to see it as much on the back side. So hopefully whenever we do the front, we're semi-professional, right, Ed? Yeah, semi. Semi, and then we'll go from edge. All done and nailed. I think it turned out pretty good. Looks good. Now we're gonna work our way over to the front. Flying your. Okay. All right, so we have the chalk line up here for our first row of shingles. Starter shingles. Starter shingles getting put on here. So we got the cap on, everything started to get really hot out. That's like hot to the touch, but uh, yeah, that's all done. And now we got a couple little nails. We're just gonna put a little bit of tar over top of it. We really wanted to kind of hold this down so the wind didn't get underneath of it, but uh, I think that'll be just fine. We're on the home stretch now, almost hey. done. I think we can officially say that we are completely done. Got the roof on. Inside, uh, one thing that we did, this door was a little floppy, so we just put a latch up here at the top and a latch at the bottom just to hold it, uh, hold the door tight, pop everything open here. Thing is opened up. This has a little knob there. 
catch everything over there. A little uh, threshold plate there. Pulling up everything right there. Um, look around to the back side. Puts uh, caulking all around the edges and stuff like that just to make sure that it stays uh, dry. And uh, last but not least, I don't know if we'll be able to see with the glare, uh, built by Sean and Carl Patula, summer 2020. This is actually an old jigsaw blade that was on my Paps uh, Sawzall that broke. So we just stapled it onto this piece of wood and screwed it in so it'll be there forever. But that's it.